Okay everyone, so I thought I would um, do a video on cooking because I haven't done a lot of cooking in the van like I have on and off but mainly just hamburgers and really easy things. So today I'm going to do some tacos, mainly just a one pot meal and um, people have been asking about what it costs to cook meals and stuff so I thought I'd include the uh, pricing there as well for this, this meal. Okay, so obviously in a van you have limited space. Uh, I've actually got a pretty big table, but this is everything that I'm going to be uh, using. So for the frying pan, uh, let's turn this light on. You can see that it's a deep, that it's a deep frying pan. So it's not a standard frying pan. Uh, so I've got the knife, a mince, some corn, some uh, mixed beans, some diced tomatoes. Uh, tortillas, got a garbage bag, some onions, container to store it in, some grease wipes to wipe down afterwards, some paper towel, and then there's some cheese in the fridge. Um, I didn't get any any salad because the mixed salad was um, basically it expired tomorrow, and I thought, you know, I wanted to get something fresher that would last a bit longer, so I didn't bother with the mixed greens. Um, but anyway, um, I guess we will start with the cooking. Um, so I'm just going to move some stuff behind me so I've got room to chop and stuff. Uh, but the onions was $1.20 for a bag. That's obviously going to change based on, um, on season. The diced tomatoes was $0.80, cents, I believe. The mixed beans were 75. This corn I already had, but um, the Coles corn, I think most of their stuff seems to be around the 75 cent mark. The minced beef was $5. Um, seasoning is $1.25 each, so $1.25 for one of these Mexican seasonings. And yeah, so that's the the pricing for everything. I'll, I'll put it up in a in a in a nice little spreadsheet thingy for you. But um, that's everything that's just going to go into this pot here as a one pot meal type thing. Okay, so I've peeled two large onions and chopped them up, and now they are going to go. into the pot. Okay, so now that I'm ready to cook, I'm going to turn this sucker on. I do have my extractor fan running and uh, when this gets further along, I'll um, show you some more. Okay, so now I've browned the onion a little bit. I'm going to add some of this Himalayan uh, salt, chili and garlic spice to the onions. So you can see um, I've added um, the spice, it's just a generous amount and I'll just stir that through. Okay so now you can see that looks quite good. I'm going to add the mince. So it's just dumped in and take the backing off and I'll stir that through. Okay, so you can see I've stirred the mince through. There's still some little bit of pink bits in there, so I'll just finish browning that um, that mince, and then I will add the beans. And what I'm going to do is drain some of the excess liquid of the beans into that coffee cup. Okay, so now that mince is looking pretty good. You can see I've got the beans and the liquid in the cup, and I'm just going to throw those beans into so those beans are just thrown in there and I'll stir it through okay so now you can see I've mixed the beans through uh, so what I'll probably do now is throw in the tomato okay so that's just one tin of the um, the diced tomatoes and I'll stir that in okay so that's it there it's not as tomato-y as I would like so I'm going to throw a second tin in Okay, so there's the second tin of tomatoes. I'm just going to uh, stir that one through. 
Okay, so look at that tomato -y goodness. Uh, so two cans of tomatoes, uh, diced tomatoes did the trick. Uh, so now I'm going to look at adding some of these corn kernels to the, um, the mix. And again, I'm going to drain the excess liquid into the cup. Okay, so there's the uh, corn kernels. I did actually probably drink about half the liquid and then put the re some of it in there. Uh, but you can see it's just the corn kern kernels without any excess liquid and I will stir that through. Okay, so you can see I've got the corn in there, stirred it through, it's simmering. I've got two packets of um, seasoning in there ready to go and some mixed herbs. So I'll just um, quickly chuck all that in. Okay, so that's two packets of the taco seasoning or the Mexican seasoning and then uh, just a generous amount of mixed herbs on top. And I will uh, stir that through. Okay, so I've just um, stirred through all of that goodness. The, uh, the mix, the herbs and the taco spicing or mix and so I'll probably just let that simmer for a couple minutes and um, and then I have a pack of uh, 10 tortillas here which I will um, use to eat my meal Okay, so there is um, the mixture coming along really nicely. I've got a bowl there that fits the tortilla nicely. I've got my computer out and I'm going to see if I can film me having a bite to eat on the computer. So um, I'll see you again shortly with the uh, end result. Okay, so I've got a generous serve of cheese in there, probably way too much. And there's my mixture and I'm just going to add some of that on top. So there we go with the uh, the mixture, so that's quite a decent size. Okay, so now I'm on the, uh, the computer recording. I have a huge amount of this, it's going to be messy, it should be good. Oh yeah, it's good. So anyway guys, this is um, tacos van life style. Like I said, I would have gotten the um, mixed, mixed leaves, like mixed um, lettuce leaves or whatever you would call it. Um, but the expiry date was like tomorrow and I just thought, nah, I won't worry. Um, very cheap meal. I'll get at least the 10 tortillas out of this. So if you have, say, three of these in a meal, what's that? That's going to be three meals with one left over. Um, if you pack it up like I just did, you might even get away with two meals, depending on how much you normally eat. Um, and then I'll see if I can throw up a spreadsheet with the costings. All right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my, my dinner. Okay, so that's the uh, the pot empty before I've cleaned it. Uh, there's my plate. I did wipe a paper towel over that. I've got two 700 mil um, cylinder takeaway containers full of the uh, the mixture. I ate three of the ta tacos as well. So that means that I've got another seven left and that should be plenty probably have some left over even um, so that was um, a very very good meal very enjoyable mostly just one pot meal that's probably as fancy as I'm going to get in the van um, and you can see it at the computer there and just a bit of stuff I have to clear away um, but yep, now I'll uh, show you the costings for this uh, meals. Okay, so I've had a few people asking me about van life costs in the comments of some of my videos. So on this particular video, I'm adding the cost of the meals just to give you an idea of potentially what it would cost you. Okay, so obviously I'm living in a van. I cooked it in the van. I showed you all that. Um, so this is an example of 
of meal costs in van life. So, mince, 500 grams is $5. A kilo of onions is $1.20. Now, the onions that I showed, I had used in other meals. I, I had the onions already. Uh, two cans of diced tomatoes was $1.60. Uh, one can of four bean mix was 75 cents. One can of corn, not the brand that I showed, but the generic Coles or Woolies brand is 75 cents. Uh, two packs of the taco seasoning is $2.50. One pack of the tortillas for 10 tortillas in it was $3. The mixed salad leaves, which I didn't use, um, I didn't have, but that cost $3. And I think that was 300 grams. And cheese, um, I've done one with no no cheese and one with cheese. So the cheese for the generic Coles brand anyway was $5.80. So the cost uh, for all the ingredients without cheese is $17.80. And with cheese, it's $23.60. And that cheese, again, you wouldn't use it for just the tacos. You could use it for other stuff as well. There'd be plenty of cheese left over. So if you have three tacos per meal, then you would have three meals with one tortilla left over. So with no cheese, that would cost you $5.93. And with cheese, it would cost you $7.86. But again, you could use the cheese with other meals. Uh, two tacos per meal, you would have um, five meals. With no cheese, it's $3.56 per meal. And with cheese, it's $4.72 per meal. And that was a good quality meal, very enjoyable, and um, and that's not too bad um, for a home cooked meal. Now, now obviously you can add other things to it, uh, like capsicums, or in, in the United States, I think you call them red peppers or green peppers. Um, but you know that's pretty pretty reasonable I think for for the meals um, again um, if you have three tacos per meal seven dollars eighty six you know that's the cost of like one hamburger usually if you go out for a hamburger so so for the cost of one meal you're getting three um, and that's with a really good high quality meal as you saw me cook up um, anyway um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.